and hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck sometimes I'm successful sometimes I'm not and on today's video I'm not working on my truck I actually have my friends coming over and I'm gonna be working on their trucks helping them out and one of the things that I'm planning hopefully gonna happen today I'm gonna help my friend install our solar panel on his truck to keep his battery constantly charged but the way we're gonna do it I'm actually gonna install a solar panel up on the roof it's gonna be by the same brand he picked up a different size panel it's a 30 watt panel and it fits just perfect on top of the roof on the wet box that our exteriors have so that's the plan to install the solar panel there run the wire down he also picked up this MPPT controller so we can install that as well wire up to the battery that way it should be always constantly charged up so now I'm just gonna move my truck out of the way that's where he's gonna park there it might be more people come so I'll try to record as much as possible but we'll see this is the solar panel that we're gonna be working on today uh, the good thing about it is already has four mounting points so we just can bolt it in probably gonna put a few bolts here or double-sided tape on the roof we got our MPPT controller and some extender cable so let's see what how this all gonna work out plan is actually even to drill a hole into the roof pass the wire inside but let's see so now the plan is to clean over here because somewhere over here we're gonna make a hole to pass the wire through so the wire from here from the solar panel gonna go through the inside down the passenger side and out to the engine bay over here and somewhere over here we're gonna install the MPPT T controller and wire it up and wire it up to the battery. So now the plan is to make a hole somewhere over here because I'm gonna use this uh, grommet to pass all the wires through. Along with the two solar panel cables, I'm gonna pass a, a four conductor wire over here to keep it as a spare for any future use for any whatever is in the future you he wanna add here, maybe side lights or something to have more control here. So gonna make a hole here and guide our wires over there i'm gonna drill the hole over here i already check on the knees there is nothing there so first i'm gonna make a pilot hole and then i'm gonna enlarge with this uh, hole saw all right and we got another hole in the roof nice all right so now i'm gonna use this uh, grommet gonna pass it over here and also gonna seal all the way around with this ultra clear silicone this one is pretty good been using for quite some time and when it dries it doesn't leak at all and it doesn't crack on the sun or anything all right so i passed all three cables over here this two is going to be for the solar panel extenders and this is going to be for the extra future spare wire in case he wants to wire up something else here so this is all sealed up now i'm going to work on guiding these cables over here this one I'm gonna leave underneath the dash but these two cables have to come to the front through the firewall so I got the wire through the liner over there I pass it over here on the side got it all the way down over here now this wire like I said it's gonna stay over here a spare this wire I still gotta take it out through the firewall to the battery so now I'm gonna mark four holes over here that's where I'm gonna bolt it at the front over here I may put a double sided tape or maybe even put a couple of self toppers through here because there is nothing important here because as you can see they have holes here anyways and then this wire is just gonna go inside of the this box and that's where the splice is gonna be done so on this side I put a double sided tape which is gonna be over here so hopefully it glues in place if not I'm just later gonna put a couple of self toppers and that should be good so now first I'm gonna put a couple of bolts over here and over there that way I know it's in place then I'm gonna take off the double sided tape glue it and screw these two bolts over here so now not to damage the solar panel put some rugs over here some uh, soft plastic over here with the weights so the double m tape has some pressure on it but this is done so now i can get the wires inside uh, there whenever i remove it and make all the splices all right so we have all the wires connected over here this unit with just double stick tape i glue it to the wall switch he also has the wall switch by the way installed and actually i did install it some time ago <laughs> anyways so the wires are connected over here with extended cable so now just gonna tuck them in can and work on this end connecting to the battery all right guys all the connections are done over here it's connected to the battery so now just gonna finish connecting the solar panel gonna get an app for this controller and 
see if it's charging the battery, if it's reading the load. And this is a final look at the solar panel, how it's installed. As you can see, the double stick tape over here worked pretty good. It's all sealed over there, it's not uh, coming off. So it fits perfect over here. So it's all connected. Now we're gonna get the phone and see, make sure that it's charging the battery. All right guys, as you can see, we are connected and it's charging currently. So that's pretty good, it's working, it's pulling uh, 24 volts. That's pretty good, so it's a success. All right guys, it's the end of the day, it's getting late, it's getting dark, but most of the work was done, the solar panel was done and it's up and running and it's working. So I think my friend is actually pretty happy that his setup is working now. Well, hopefully it's gonna keep his battery constantly charged, but we're gonna keep an eye on it. I may have to do some uh, adjustments there, double check the wiring and stuff, but it seemed to be work but on top of that not only we did that installation that day we also work on his uh, front suspension we replaced his both front shocks and upper control arms so it was not only that electrical work it was quite involved but everything was done and it's working so that was another nice modification adding a solar panel in a that location now i'm thinking to add one solar panel there as well so and since I already have a wire coming up there, I'm just gonna put a V-type splitter there and that's it. I don't, have, I don't need to do anything else. Maybe I'll do it slightly different, maybe not. We'll see. But as always, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description, guys, if you guys wanna check it out and if you have any questions. Also, feel free to ask me. I'll try to do my best to help you out, guys. So on this note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you might find it helpful. And as always, until next time, everybody, bye.